Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jody, and this is Garden Update 14, I think. Um, today, we're going to separate out the corn. They're about four inches tall, so I'm going to... I planted doubles in, in the holes to see. Um, so I think I have about six that I want to move over to make their own stock. Um, and then I'm going to plant the other two sisters. I'm going to plant the squash and the beans today. Um, I'm a little late on my three sisters as far as it goes, but that's okay. I'm in zone 10A, so we have warm growing conditions pretty much year round. Um, I do get frost January, February, but um, plenty of time before that happens. So I can grow things generally year round. The other thing I have is a bunch of potatoes in my pocket. We had such a good harvest last time. I'm going to pop some more. So I filled my pockets up <laughs> with potatoes before I came down and um, we'll pop those in the ground. And then, um, so yeah, we're going to do some planting today. And uh, then I think I'm get everything watered and then I might spray down the cabbages again. I had some cabbage aphids um, that I've been hosing off daily and then I'm going to put the neem oil on to prevent them from coming back. So, um, oh, I also brought the compost down. That's not very exciting though, is it? Let me show you what I'm going to plant the two sisters. Okay. Tender greens. Garden beans. They're called burpee stringless green pot. I don't, I thought a burpee was like a exercise, not a bean. <laughs> uh, I'll do a yellow squash, jack-o'-lanterns, and some zucchini. Um, I like the zucchini and yellow squash a lot. And pumpkins are just fun. I know it's a little late. I probably won't have them for Halloween, but I might have them in time for Thanksgiving. And that's when um, my in-laws are gonna come out. So maybe I'll have a pumpkin to show off when they're here. So I think step one is gonna be, we're gonna go uh, do the compost. Yeah, I'll do that last, I don't really care. Um, I think step one's gonna be separate out the corn and then get the sisters going. So come on. <laughs> okay. So, see how there's two here? Two, two, two. So I'm gonna separate one, two, three, four, five, six of them. All right, get down on my knees. And I'm just gonna do it like that. Then I'm just gonna put one of these little guys. The propane delivery guy just swore up a storm across the street. Good old rural living. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs>
might be a radish seed that got moved by the squirrels. Hmm. Well, volunteer. It's funny how the squirrels move around my stuff. We might need to harvest some lettuce today too. So that's two, and then that's five, eight, 11, 14. So I have 14 corns that sprouted out of 18. So only four didn't come up. I call that pretty good odds for my first time planting corn by myself. Now I think I'm gonna do some zucchinis like here and here and here we'll do some pumpkins and then some beans in the middle because the beans are supposed to climb the corn but squash is a pretty voracious eater so i'm wondering hmm. all right we'll give it a go i mean at the end of the day it's just seeds right it's not the end of the world first step the zucchini some squash. I'm only going to do two yellow squash. We'll see if they come up though. I'm hoping with the squashes I'm going to train them to come out that way and that way. Now I'm going to do beans. One here, one here, one here maybe. I think I'm gonna do bush beans. <laughs> cool. Okay, so I have bush beans, zucchini, and yellow squash growing between the corn. And I think I'm gonna do potatoes in the next section since I had done them in the corner before. Um, they've been depleted. <laughs> they've been depleted. So I think I'm going to do jack-o'-lantern and bush bean in the corner because beans and potatoes trade nutrients and then I'll do potatoes in the middle so that they can sort of trade nutrients. So let's do it. <laughs> oh, no, no, wait. I planted the bush bean over here. I meant for the green bean. I'm going to have to figure out a trellis over here in the corner, but it'll be fine. First, 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 let's stick some potato trenches. I 
was a pity when I said I filled my pockets with potatoes upstairs. <laughs> a beginning gardener like me, I highly recommend planting potatoes. It is so satisfying. It's about the only thing I've had real success with so far. Uh-oh. There we go. seeds. Now, green beans. Quick overview of what we just did. I separated out the corns, so now they're all single. <laughs> and I put beans in the middle, and I put squash on the outside. Squash and zucchini. This is the new potato patch. Ah, it dropped me to the shovel. So this right here is the new potato patch. I had them in the corner last time. I'm doing them here now, uh, just in the other set of soil. And I have beans on either side, because beans and potatoes are good to co-plant or like rotate through, so they trade nutrients. And then I put some jack-o'-lanterns there just to see what we get. Let's check on everybody else, shall we? Broccolis. Uh, the old leaves are still pretty bit up, but the new ones are nice and healthy. No new cabbage moths, so that's great. Pepper plant, still growing quite well. No flowers yet. All my baby radishes came up. Radishes all over. No baby carrots yet from the carrots that I popped in the ground. Um, but I don't know if we'll get any. Like I said, it's an experiment. Swiss chard's looking much better. I will spray that again with the neem oil. Tomato plant. I got three flowers up top. And then check this out. We have a baby tomato. He's hiding. There. I have a baby tomato! That's very exciting. Um, these carrots are not ready yet. Ooh, white flies. Check it. Look at all of them flying off. Alright, we got a neem oil at this place. We'll water first though, so we don't wash it all off. This broccoli. It's looking good. He's like stretchy. He's long. So I'm super curious what I need to do about that. So anyway, we just saw the corn. Here's the lettuce. Make sure there's no white flies hanging. Here's a few. Mmm, need to spray again. Yeah, because look at, see, they freaking rot your lettuce out. Look at it. <gasps> no, my head of lettuce is gone. Ew. All right, I'm gonna chop that. I'll save the ones we can save, but I'm gonna chop that head. I gotta trim back the lettuce. All right, I'll just harvest the leaves we can eat and then uh, chop them back to their roots. Onions are getting more established, which is awesome. Rosemary, I came and harvested some the other night and we had rosemary potatoes, delicious. Cabbages, they're getting little heads going. I need to respray. Look at that whole leaf is gone. Something ate that whole leaf. Yep, gotta spray again. This guy kind of like fell over. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to let him do his thing. He's looking pretty healthy. This is the one that had a ton of the aphids inside. 
So I sprayed them down. Oh yeah, like you can see on the back, there's still some. Uh, does anyone else get irrationally angry over bugs? And here's this one. Let's see if we even get any cabbage this year. This one's struggling hard. Look at all the leaves it's dropped. Because the aphids, they just, I mean, destroyed it. He's still trying though. Oh my God, there's a ton of them in there. Sharks. Okay, so I think I'll water and then we'll spray down with the neem oil. snip up some lettuce. It's like my only really good head of lettuce forming and it's rotted to the core. Like, I don't know, whatever. I still got to eat some of my lettuce. I'm just bummed. Got a whole bucket of lettuce I'll bring up and we'll munch some salad tonight. Oh, there's a huge dragonfly. Beautiful. All right, anyway, so we'll eat that up. The amount of white flies that flew off those tiny little plants as I was spraying, I was like, oh my goodness, it's been quite the battle. I didn't know that about my region. I didn't, obviously this is my first garden here. Um, the only other garden I've ever worked in was kind of like a co-op situation and it was in a completely different climate. It was down by the coast and I'm up in the redwoods and it's an entirely different set of pests, a different set of issues. But um, yeah, this is an experiment this year and um, I'm enjoying it so far. I, I think I'm feeling pretty proud. So last thing I wanna do is, gosh, there's flies out here. Last thing I'm gonna do is turn you all around to see the compost. I'm gonna do that. I'll hose out my compost bin I emptied my pockets of potatoes, so I think we're done. All right. Oh yeah.
So this compost bin has like a little clock on one side. So that's the one you're letting mulch, I guess. And then plus is the one you're adding to. So I've stopped adding to this one and it's been just chilling in there for, oh, I don't know, maybe a month now. And it's not too wet, which is great. And it smells like really good dirt. And that's how you know you're almost there. There's still some uh, larger chunks in there. Cause I think I threw like whole apples in there at some point. But um, anyway, long story short, I think this one will be ready to add to the garden maybe one more month. And the other side I'm still adding to, it's maybe only a third full so far. So hopefully by the time that one's full, that one I can empty out and we'll just go back and forth and keep adding to the garden. Um, mostly what we compost is just like banana peels, fruit scraps, coffee, lots of coffee. We drink lots of coffee. <laughs> But um, yeah, so hopefully that will be ready by the time that one's full so I can put it in the garden. And something that's so funny is, oh, here, I'll take it with me. So something that's so funny is I had dirt all the way up when I put this garden in and it's obviously compacted down and everything. As time has gone on, it's rain and sun and all that good stuff. So I need to, I think, add compost, obviously, because you need to add compost to keep your soil healthy. But I think I also need to get more soil to add in. Uh, it doesn't look that shallow, but it took 10 bags of dirt to fill this. Um, so I could probably add in five more easily and it would definitely take it. I don't mind the dirt being a little higher than the sides. Um, planting mounds tend to be better anyway. So just a silly little thing I was thinking about. So compost. Oh yeah, look at that. It's looking so good. And then this side is new. So, that's the difference. And it's so funny, this side smells like the foods that are in there, but this side smells like really good soil. So we're almost there. It, it, it's kind of a trip how you can smell the differences in the stages of the compost. So if you're new to composting, I say give it a try. If you have the space, you don't need this. You can even just do it in a pile on the ground, but you know, gotta respect the neighbors. So mine's another thing, but um, give it a try. It's not that hard. And you know, what's funny is, hang on. What's funny is most of the things I compost from the kitchen are considered wet compost. So the dry that I put in there to stop it from getting clumpy, you don't want it clumpy. You need it like loose. It can't be too wet basically. There's like a balance. Um, I just use the shreddings from a paper shredder. Um, we get a lot of, you know, junk mail up here, even though we cancel it all the time, but it's a great way to reuse the junk mail. So I put it through the paper shredder and then I just about once a month come down with a wad of paper and chuck it in there and it breaks it all down. Um, cause I don't have a lot of dry leaf litter. I mean, I live in a rainforest. There's not a lot of dryness here. Um, well, I mean, it's drier than it's been in years. We're in a drought. It is still California, but what I mean is like places that have like a ton of maple trees or seasonal trees, they get those big bouts of dry leaves. And here I do have maples and they do drop their leaves, but the majority of the trees around me are evergreen. So, you know, just food for thought. You can compost your bills if it makes you feel better. <laughs> I know it makes me feel better. <laughs> All right, last step for me is going to be rinsing out my compost bin. And I think we're gonna head back upstairs. Thank you for joining me.
Just doing the neighbor check. Okay. 